Blessings and welcome to another edition of Digging Deeper with Reverend Douglas. Uh, each session I respond to a question that has come to me from a member of the congregation I serve or from somebody who watches these episodes online. If you would like to send a question to me, my email is dtaylor at uubinghamton.org. Today's question is uh, one that came to me from online. A colleague of mine actually received this question and passed it along. Uh, a, a young person in her congregation asked the question about um, the name that we have, Unitarian Universalist, and had the Unitarian Universalists ever considered other names? Uh, and so uh, my colleague and, and several other colleagues talked about this a little bit, and here are some of the answers. Right off the bat, uh, I will say that Unitarian Universalism is this merger of two names, Unitarianism and Universalism, and it was in the early 60s that we merged and the names merged. So one of the big arguments, of course, was <laughs> which name comes first if we're going to list them this way? Uh, are we Universalist Unitarians or Unitarian Universalists? Another question was, uh, would we put a hyphen in between the two words. And if there was a hyphen, what did it mean? And if there wasn't a hyphen, what did that mean? There's a story that uh, some people didn't want the hyphen because it implied somewhat Unitarian and somewhat Universalist rather than allowing for a breadth of variety that is, is eventually what we ended up with. Um, digging into some of the history, uh, there were other names considered. Um, the Universal Church, uh, we almost became the United Liberal Church of America or the United Liberal Church of North America. Free Church was another name that got batted around quite a bit, the Free Church of America or the Free Church Fellowship. Those were both um, pieces that uh, were, were strongly considered. Um, I have a colleague who talked about the liberal church of North America as one of the options that his parents were strongly in favor of. Uh, so free and liberal were some of the adjectives that came up a lot when we were thinking about names other than Unitarian Universalist. Um, there's a, a bit of a joke that, uh, that, is, that floats around out there that the, um, someone proposed taking the first two syllables of Universalist and the last three syllables of Unitarian and putting them together uh, as a new name, which would be Unitarian. So sometimes we play around with things like that. I, I did hear somebody also suggest uh, in the 80s that maybe we should change our name uh, to University, um, you, keeping the UNI as an honor to the Unitarian and Universalist, but to lean in toward the academic uh, nature of our faith tradition so much, which, you know, is one aspect of our faith tradition, certainly, but perhaps not the totality of it. Other interesting uh, ideas, uh, unity. Uh, granted, there already is a unity church that's out there, but in the Midwest, a lot of uh, Unitarian Universalist communities used the word unity in naming their building, so Unity Temple or Unity Church, um, and then they'd have to have a comma and say Unitarian Universalist, because over time uh, there did develop uh, a gr another group, religious group, called Unity, and so we couldn't take that one. Um, but so those are some of the other um, conversations that have come up. It keeps coming up. It's not just something that we argued about a bit in the 60s. It was, uh, it keeps coming up in the 80s and here in the 2000s. And, you know, uh, we are a free and liberal church. And so we may change our name. We don't know. Um, it's certainly a possibility. I don't see it coming, but, you know, it might happen. So those are some of the thoughts that we'd had about uh, why we chose the name we ended up with or what were the other options that we were thinking about. This has been Digging Deeper with Reverend Douglas. Blessings.